And after a week, I'm finally back. Greetings out there, my beloved chicken nuggets. I am Zyza for KQ from Loggington. And uh, it's time for more Gabriel Knight. It's also time to start the timer. And it's time for Elgheim. And I'm just making my posts on social media, letting people know that I am in fact alive. As always, if you're watching this at home on YouTube, you can uh, skip about five minutes into the future and I will be playing the actual game. Uh, if you're watching this somewhere else at YouTube, please go home and watch it on YouTube. I don't know why you're watching me on the subway. Don't do that. You're only going to weird out everyone around you. Uh, if you're watching this at someone else's home on YouTube, that's perfectly alright. And if you're watching this somewhere other than YouTube or Twitch, I want to know how you're doing that. I'm very curious. Anyway. It's back to Sierra's, perhaps... Most famous, least lauded game. By which I mean, a lot of people know of this game, not many people celebrate it. Uh, as opposed to those Sierra games that no one really knows about. Uh, Pepper's Adventures in Time, for example. You don't see many people celebrate Pepper's Adventures in Time. I celebrate Pepper's Adventures in Time. I think it's a great game. It's a weird, goofy, educational game that stars a dog that bites everything. And, you know, a little girl, but mostly a dog that bites everything. Uh, it's absolutely in my interest to play it sometime. I'd love to. I kind of wonder if anybody would be interested in that, but uh, the nice thing about doing all this is that I don't have to please anybody else. So if I decide I want to do a Pepper's Adventures in Time marathon, that is my prerogative. And then we will do Echo Quest. Or Ego Quest. Or however you choose to pronounce it. Hello, Saria Song. It's good to see you. I'm glad to be back. It is... I was definitely extremely, uh... antsy about streaming. Like, I, ju I just wanted to stream some stuff. And I could not. And I was going to, like, bite entire households if I couldn't stream. I would, you know, I would become a vampire, personally. That's the curse of Gabriel Knight 3. Uh, but, however, we are back. And we can now play Gabriel Knight 3. So we will. It's a relief, though. E. coli quest? Uh, no, that would be a very different game. That might be, like... I can't think of any games Sierra released involving diseases. Not even, like, the Manhunter games, and those are fucking grim. But, believe me, if, uh, Eco Quest comes up, or Echo Quest, however you choose to say it, I would be delighted to play it. Uh, the first one is entirely you and a dolphin scuba dive to save a fish society from pollution. Uh, the second game is just straight up a complete ripoff of the plot of the Rescuers Down Under. It, they're great games. I love them. They're terrible. I love them even more. Uh, Delphinius, your dolphin companion from the first game. His voice has been in my head since 1992, and it won't come out, and I'm thinking about pouring some bleach in there, just to see what happens. Anyway, we are down to about, uh, 35 seconds. 30 seconds now, if you have anything you want to do that isn't Gabriel Knight related, you'd better get it done. And yes, hello, uh, Woodlings, hello, Silverstar, hello, Saria again. I've already said hello to you, but hello again. 
It's it's great to have you all back. But yeah, the old Sierra games of my youth were definitely more tuned towards like Pepper's Adventure Than Time and Echo Quest. Echo Quest. I have someday I'm gonna have to look up how you pronounce that exactly. But it won't be today. Let's go over to the Gabriel Knight. Does it bother anyone else that like this entire picture is cut off right at the like you know Hi Gabriel? Okay. Let's get that up and running. Uh, hopefully it hasn't decided to... No, there it is. That's a relief. I was briefly worried that maybe the game had decided to, like, completely fuck off while I was indisposed. Like, just stop running entirely. The game managed to have more homoerotic art than Gabriel Knight Tale. I could definitely use... a surfeit of homoerotic Gabriel Knight art. I say, on public record. Alright, I gotta remember how the controls work. Oh boy. Yeah, let's fly this camera. Straight to hell. By which I mean straight through game. Alright. As I recall... Uh, Grace has finally shown up. We have tracked the kidnappers to Renless Chateau, the kidnappers of Prince James's child. We tracked them here to this small town, which is involved somehow with the Holy Grail and the Knights Templar because we are getting Dan Brown as fuck up in this thing. Uh... I think they just left, perhaps? Oh, but we've got a new face at the register. Let's, uh... Oh, Monsieur Knight, I hope your head is feeling better. It is, actually. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. Who are you again? Uh, the baby, chicken hotel. The two men with a trunk. You didn't see two men with a trunk last night, did you? Maybe outside in the parking lot or driving around town? Mm, no, 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 not in town. This is a very quiet place, Monsieur. Monsieur Mosley and Monsieur Wilkes arrived with the tour group, but I do not remember a trunk. Okay, thanks. Gabriel, why are you talking like that all of a sudden, buddy? You talk like that head injury is a little more recent than, well, I can't judge. It's Tim Curry. I am not fit to judge the man. Did you see or hear a baby last night? No, no, Monsieur Knight. Not at the hotel. I hear my niece at home, maybe, but here <laughs> there are no babies staying at the hotel. Oh, Monsieur Knight, why do you think a baby would stay at the hotel? The baby could not reach the bell on the desk. The baby could not sign the check-in book. I was looking at the register. Do you remember exactly when people arrived last night? Hmm, let me think. The big group arrives together maybe 7, 7.30. And later, Monsieur Baza... What time? Maybe... Uh, 9 o'clock? No, 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 more like ten, I think. Then you, maybe an hour later, then Signore Buccelli. What time did Buccelli get here? Mm, just after midnight, I remember, because the clock chimes at midnight, and I sometimes get a bit uh, nervous, and I lock the door. Mm, Signore Buccelli came after I locked it. I had to let him in. Nervous? What do you get nervous about? Oh, Monsieur Knight, we have many old legends in this area. That's... interesting. We knew that Bukele was lying about being on the train from Napoli. But he arrived very late, and he arrived after Gabriel. What does that mean? I have absolutely no idea. 
but it's a, it's a relevant fact, I think. If nothing else, it is a fact, if nothing else. I don't know if it's a relevant one. Oh, hello. Where are you guys going? There they go. Uh, it looks like they're heading off down the street. Which way are they turning? They're going that way. Alright. Um, can I write down their license plate number? Grab the notebook. And... Can I... Nope. Those don't work together. Alright, I guess not. Let's just look at the car. Is there anything Prince in the car? James's men are driving that car. Is there anything in the car? There's an F. It stands for the car. All right, I'm not getting anything out of examining that. Let's uh, let's go after them. I love that we can make this an extremely suspenseful shot by starting way back here and clicking instead of going up here and clicking. Like, if we had gone up here and clicked, Gabriel would have just appeared there. And that would have saved us some time. Alright, he's going around, going around back. Around back of the church. Get after him, Gabe. You love Fout Run, the car racing game. I do too. Alright. Oh. There, something's going on. Uh, yeah, hide. Hide in shadows, Gabriel. This is a great camera angle. This is telling me so much. We, oui. yes, it. Ah, uh, no, is it then? We. Oui. Yes. Who are you? Hold him. Who are you? We're Scots. God help you. You are hurting me. Where's the band? I don't know what you... The baby. Prince James's baby. If you've harmed him... I don't know what you are talking about. Last night, Prince James of Albany's son and only heir was taken from his house. <sighs> you don't think we had anything to do with it? That's preposterous. We, Is it he now? says. Then why were the kidnappers followed to Coiza? Coiza? On the train? Well, I... I have no idea. I swear to you, the order had nothing to do with it. Perhaps you were not informed. No. Well, why would they bring the infant here then? If they were going to do something so, so outrageous, I assure you, they would not bring him to Rennes-le-Chateau. You are mistaken, sir. We find the baby unharmed, or all negotiations cease immediately. But one thing has nothing to do with the other. Surely Prince James has other... We'll be back tomorrow. You'd better have an answer, Arno. Okay, um, Gabriel, uh... Am I expected to do anything here? Because... Nope, nope, Gabriel's gonna help cover this. Okay, so the order, huh? Can we listen in at the window at all? Arnaud lives there. He sure has no. a taste for the morbid. What about, uh... Oh, he's making a phone call right now. Can I... Can I, like, get my tape recorder in there, maybe? Allo? C'est Arnaud à l'appareil. 
Il faut que je parle au grand maître. Mais bien sûr que c'est urgent. Yes, Allô? ok. Je regrette vous déranger, monsieur. Mais je viens d'avoir la visite plutôt pénible de deux hommes de Prince James. Il prétend donc qu'on a enlevé le fils de Prince James. Il dit son Someday I'm going to find somebody who knows how to speak French. And I'm going to blow the lid off whatever is going on here. Que, I don't know. Que nous y sommes pour quelque chose. C'est bien ce que je leur ai dit. Mais je, je voulais vous l'entendre dire vous-même. Mais alors qui a... Mais c'est nous qu'ils accusent. Something about being accused. Boycott it sounds pretty familiar. Uh, something about the personal enemies of the prince. Yeah, whatever that was, that sounded important. Doesn't look like he's still in there, though. Okay. Um, can I get back around and... Are Prince James's weird Scottish brutes still out there? Because... I'm kind of thinking... They, they act like hired thugs, is what they act like. It's like, you know... Knock, knock, who's there? Hired goons! Alright, can I, um... Ooh, good, there's a follow but Yeah, alright, let's follow them. Gabriel, go get your motorcycle. Or whatever you're doing. Or stand there in the middle of the street. That's fine, too. Nice drift. Jerks. Um, there we go. It looks like they're going off this way. Down here. Man, things are actually happening. <laughs> they drove into Larry Chester's driveway. Weird. Larry Chester? It's him, right? Ren Le Bon? Or... No, I missed where I've forgotten where Larry Chester lives, actually. I think it's here. No, that's the, um... That's the tavern. Where the hell is Lady Chester's library? Uh, Lady... Larry Chester... Lady Chester? Who the fuck is Lady... There! Larry Chester's house. Okay, let's not pull up directly to the driveway. Let's take the back entrance. Lady Chester, what the hell brain trick was that? I don't know. I am, uh... I'm sorry, Larry Chester. I've accidentally reassigned your gender. Alright, um, I think his house was... No, that's the interface. House is down here. Yep, there's the car. Okay, let's... It's Larry Chester's house. Well, Lady Chestnut. Yeah, it could be. Can, can I, uh, open a window, perhaps, and... Hmm... What the hell do they want with Chester? I guess they're not in the back room, so... Where are they? They're just parked around front, waiting. Ominously. Ooh, there's a crack in the window. Hmm, there is a hole in the window. 
but it's not a very big one. Where's my baseball bat? Um, there's a hole in the window, but it's not a very big one. Well, I can fix that. Nope, those don't work together. Okay, the solution is not to wang on it with a shovel. Yeah, I probably should have should have guessed that. Maybe I can uh, use the coat hanger to open the window. Nope, those don't work together. All right. Um. Maybe I don't have to open the window at all. Maybe I have to stick my tape recorder. Yeah, stick my tape recorder up to it. And uh, he'll just record everything that's going on in there. Nope, those don't work together. I am incorrect again. Um, that's what I call the lived-in look. There must be something I can do here. There must be something. Um, maybe all I have to do is watch them do stuff. Uh... Can I get hot? Yeah, here's a hide icon. I can hide behind this tree. I was going to try the rock if this didn't work. All right. Uh, we're just going to... It was very polite of them not to get out of the car until I got here. That was incredibly polite of them. Oh, the soundtrack's getting synthy. Yes? Uh, what the fuck are they doing? Thumbs, pinkies, uh, full hand, live long and prosper, and then they touch thumbs? Fuck, can I write that down? Fuck, where's a pen? Ah, uh, they're doing it twice so I can see it. The live long and prosper look, uh... You shouldn't Thumbs on top be of here. Each other. We don't yeah, have a choice. Uh, okay, wait, hold on. I got a pencil. I got a, um... Alright, what was it? It was like... Uh... It was thumbs... Pinkies, uh, full handshake, then they did that sort of live long and prosper thing, and then they sort of like, Fist bumped. Okay, okay. I hope that's enough for whatever I need this for in the future. Because they made a real point out of showing that thing to me twice. So I am pretty convinced I need it. Alright, can I... Anything going on around here? No, nah, they must be in like the front room. Dang. Uh, okay, I guess. I Hopefully, I got the pertinent information there. Um, how do I get back to my bike? I'm lost. I think I go back this way. Yep, thanks, Gabe. Yeah, it's over here. Okay, cool. Suit up. Uh. All right. French mountainside ate me. 
kick it a little bit. Um, let's take a quick look around and make sure that we've... That there's nobody doing anything suspicious. Like, just because we had to follow those two people, the two, um... The two officers of Prince James, that doesn't mean that none of our other suspects are up to anything. So, we might have to... My God, look at that tree texture. No thanks. The last time I went poking around in a cave, I ended up with hair on my palms. Ha <laughs> ha, you have trauma. All right, uh, nobody's here. But yeah, I feel like, um... Maybe that was not the only thing I'm supposed to have caught out here. But I'm so glad to be back to this, you know? I'm so glad to be, like, running down clues and stuff. Again, it feels good. It feels... You know, this is what I'm meant to be doing with my night. Alright, um... Hey, does this mean any... No, that's just a broken sign. It's cool. Uh, let's head out this way. Go ahead and gabe your way up there. Yeah, I'm glad to have a fresh chair that is not in any way deconstructing itself beneath me. I don't see anybody out here. Uh, all I'm saying is, you take for granted the stability of your butt. And you should not take for granted the stability of any part of your body, because it will fade. And mine has uh, faded in the past. It's not, it's not a pleasant experience. It can hurt. A lot. Gabriel Knight 4, Grace convinces Gabe to get therapy. Yeah, um, yeah, that's why they can't actually make that game. It would be, it would take way too, it would be like 47 CDs long. Uh, anybody in... Oh, hello. It's... Looks like the boys are out drinking. The boys. What's up, the boys? Evening, gents. Out on the town tonight. Ha! What town there is? You had to join us, mate? Yes, please do. Oh, no thanks. I was just driving around and I thought I saw signs of life. Carry on. Right. Ha <laughs> ha! Carry on. My wayward sons. Hmm. Uh, so... Anything else to say, Gabe? Well, they're getting smashed. That doesn't leave much room for witty conversation. That sure didn't stop you in Germany. Alright, I guess... We've managed to place them. Ooh, wait. Hold on. License plates. This is an American cosplay. <laughs> yeah, you know, um... You don't have to be American to drink here, but it helps. Budweiser only. But there's a secret store of Miller Lite under the counter. For those in the know. I already have it. Alright, we got his. Um, do we have the Bucelli? Yeah, okay. Right, we got Wilkes. We needed Bucelli's. Now we can place Buccelli with by his license plate. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if there is actually going to be a use for taking everybody's license plates. Or if, you know, I'm just doing it as busy work and they will never, ever call me out on it. Alright, we've been up here, we've been up there. Uh, I don't think we need to go to the train station, so the only place left is back to Rennes le Chateau. Ooh, 
Ooh. And we saw... That's the moped that Lady Howard and Estelle were driving around in. Right, that's the, uh, the two British ladies. Get notated. Um... Who's is this? HLK841J. HLK841J. Emilio's rented that back. All right, we got Emilio. We have a purple one. Yeah, Mosley's driving that thing. Yeah, this one's Mosley's. I already wrote it down. Okay, cool. Uh, do we actually have Emilio's? I've already got that yeah, okay. license plate number. I think that's pretty much everyone on the tour group. So that feels successful. All right, let's get back to the hotel. Um. Hi, Emilio. Uh, uh this is Emilio, right? Yeah, that's Emilio, I think. It's been a little while. Good evening, Mr. Knight. What's up tonight, Emilio? Nothing for myself, and for you? You have been out this evening, no? Oh, not really. Nothing special, that is. Ah, well, I wish you better luck, then. Nothing special. Gabriel is nothing special these days. Alright, um... On back upstairs... And, oh, hello, here comes Emilio. Emilio's in room 27 now. Don't mind me. He doesn't. I don't see... I don't see too much of anything in there. And we are in room 25, if I recall. I'm not gonna knock on my own door, even if Grace is in there. It's because you're an inconsiderate twit, Knight. <laughs> Finally! There you are. Hey, you didn't tell me Mosley was here. What a bizarre coincidence. Yeah! <laughs> coincidence. I'm still not quite sure how it... Hey, I uh, was just talking about the tour tomorrow. Gracie's going. Uh, are you? Actually, it would be a good chance to do some snooping around here. Besides, it sounds like a monumental snow. <sighs> the treasure has got to fit into the case somehow. What people think about the treasure, sure. As for the treasure itself, it sounds like a snark hunt. Right, Mose? I don't know. Gabriel, the kidnappers were talking about the Grail. Plus, they came here. Why would they come here, unless they were connected to the treasure? I didn't say they weren't connected. I'm just more interested in the suspects than digging around in the dirt. Right, Mose? I don't know. Well, I am going to figure <laughs> it out. Fine. Now, could we talk about, oh, let's see, the case for a minute? What's up? Gib Mosley desperately trying to change the subject. Away from himself, and then away from the treasure. Like, mostly no, you're not subtle. I followed Prince James's men tonight. Yeah? What'd they do? First, they had a little chat with the local abbe. Accused him of taking the baby. The abbe swore the order had nothing to do with it. The order? Then they went to see Larry Chester out by Blanchford. The guy's supposed to be a British scholar, but Mallory and McDougal knocked on his door and gave him this weird freaking handshake. What kind of handshake? Let's see if I can remember it. Yeah, I knew this was going to come up. All right, hold on. Um... Oh, 
Oh god, I have to do it from the little pictograms? Fuck. Ah. Uh... The thumbs. The pinkies. Um, a normal handshake. I don't know if this is right. The live long and prosper grip. And then the fist bump. Well, I'm not really sure. It was pretty complicated. No, I don't think I got that like right. some kind of secret Fuck. password or something. Sounds like the Masons. Freemasons? That's right. How would you know? Hey, I'm a cop. You learn a lot out there on the main streets. <laughs> right. Do I have... Do I have a save I can restore? No, not really. Right. All right. It doesn't seem to have affected anything. But this is a Sierra game, you guys. I'm worried now. Yo, can we try that handshake thing again? No. Am I missing something? Why would Prince James send Freemasons down here? Duh. What? Prince James is a Freemason? Well, how the hell would you know, Mr. New Orleans? Well, he, uh, <clears throat> he, he sent the Freemasons down here, didn't he? Well, Prince James did say he thought the kidnapping was political. Oh, God. I'm Could gonna it kill me. have I'm gonna something get to do with the Freemasons? Finally. Hmm. Been three games, but if Prince James's men are Freemasons, then what about the Abbey? Who's the Order? Someone the Masons don't trust. Hmm. Who's the natural enemy of the Freemasons? Dolphins. You know, I don't think that the Masons <laughs> are exactly chummy with the Vatican, if you know what I mean. There you go. The Abbey is a priest. Why would the Vatican kidnap a baby? Gracie, I think you have an idealized view of the Catholic Church. I agree. There's got to be more to the Abbey than that if Prince James' men acted the way you say they acted. Hmm, maybe. I'll look into it. Hey, why don't we go down and have some dinner? Mosley was trying to talk me into it before he came back. Are you hungry? Starved. Cheer up. Between the Freemasons, the Order, and the Night Visitors, there's got to be a case in here somewhere. That's true, Gracie. Life is good. Come on, poster boy. Shut up, Nat. Yeah, no, I feel... That is what I wrote down. I just... Hmm. Well, we have a save at that block. So, if it turns out we fucked up major times. If it turns out we fucked up majorly, we can always roll back, you know? Uh, day two, 7 to 10 a.m. You implying a reaction here in the church? Ki the priest kidnapped a baby is, yeah, that sounds like something they do, lol. Maybe? Oh! That's me, the trusty sidekick. Yo! We get to be Grace. The piano is starting again. Good times, okay. What have we got? I got some Deutschmarks converted to francs at the airport. Not much to spend it on around here, though. Okay, we got some Deutschmarks. Uh, yep, that's me, all right. Nothing like Kinko's to do a girl justice. Cool. We have... Key to the commune. Key to the hotel room, and we have... I always carry my sketch pad. Well, you never know when you'll get an urge to do a Gabe as chimp doodle. And a sketch pad. Okay, cool. Grace, what do you think about the wall art around here? Looks like two Englishmen exploring the Amazon. Which begs the question, what exactly is it doing in a French hotel? Valid. That looks like a cassette reproduction. 
I've done so many still lifes for painting class. I'm sick of them. This one isn't bad, though. See, Grace actually has coherent opinions about the artwork in here, which is goddamn refreshing. That would be right over Gabriel's bed. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Hi, Gabriel. I didn't notice you there. <laughs> he looks so harmless when he's asleep, doesn't he? Don't get me started. No, please. By all means, I want to hear what you think about this man. Can we sketch him? Why would I want to show that to him? Eh, it was worth a shot. All right, Grace, you actually ha- What's this? Huh, I got two fingerprint kits. Gabriel's not gonna have all the fun on this case. Oh, fingerprint kits. Fuck yeah. Oh, and now there's stuff under the bed. Our stuff. I brought it down from Prince James's house. Cool. Maybe Gabriel can get out of that ratty-ass t-shirt. And, uh, as I was saying... Chardrel Gyatso runs a monastery for training shot and Jaeger monks. His mind is amazing. Oh, I would love to go spend a few months there. Grace is the technically inclined one of the party, which means that we have access to the Sydney system, which is glitching the hell out. Uh, older game, you know. Let's see, we have, um, a search button. Well, it's cool. It's not too bad, really. Let's see, we have a search button, email, we have new mail. Files. We don't have any files for this case yet, but as Gabriel and I find stuff, we can scan it in. Cool. Analyze. Well, we'd need stuff to analyze. Uh, translate. Add data. Make I make ID. Jesus Christ, Gabriel! You could have used this and not your fucking cat hair bullshit. Okay. And we can open the suspect pool. I entered these suspects last night. Cool. What's in our email? Hello. Uh, from RT Nakamura at AOL.com. Grace, your father had a wonderful idea. We're going to send you an early birthday present. Tickets to fly home. How does next month sound? I met the nicest boy at the Japanese Cultural Center. His name is Ryan Makoshi. I gave him your email. Hope you don't mind. Before you start, he's very nice looking, and he's an electrical engineer. He works for IBM in Manhattan. I'm telling you, the girls at the center are quite interested, but I showed him your picture and told him all about you. You know I can make you sound good. Miss Willis's daughter is traveling in Europe for a year, too. She's pretty but spoiled. Her parents are paying for the trip because she got accepted at Harvard Law School. But at least she's a good daughter. So now that we pay for this new email account to every month, you can't write to your mother? Let me know right away about the trip. The second week of July works best because we have theater tickets before and after. We can drive over to Yale and look up some of your school friends. Maybe talk to that nice Professor Barclay. Love, Mom. Well, that's a whole can of red flags, isn't it? Is Grace even going to want to reply to this one? No, thank you. Yeah, I didn't think so. Next. R. Makoshi at Hotmail Boy. Hi, Grace. My name's Ryan Makoshi. Your mother gave me your email address. She says you're taking a European sabbatical. Sounds great. I wish I could get away. I graduated with my M.S.E.E. two years ago and went to work for IBM two weeks later. You know how school loans can be. Anyway, your mother says you're coming home in a few weeks, so maybe we can get together. She made you sound pretty interesting. 
people think I'm interesting too. Uh, we gonna reply to this one? I really don't want to get the guy's hopes up. I really did not think so. And see llama at ohm.com. Dear Grace, of course, you are welcome to join us anytime, even if your partner does not choose to do so. But I sense you feel tied to your current situation, perhaps without a clear understanding why. Love and loyalty are precious gifts, but they must be free and open, not sources of resentment or restraint. Destiny can also be a heavy weight, and I sense your destiny is a deep one. Sometimes we must wait for the event in which we are to participate before we can move on. Let this thought give you patience. If you feel the path blocked beyond your ability to influence, you may need for fate to find a detour. Remember, we cannot control others. Our choices belong to each of us alone. I can feel you clearly and sweetly across the long miles. I know you will find your way. I only hope our paths cross before we are both too old and wise to learn from each other. Your friend, Chadrail. And you're gonna... I want to write back, but I, I need to think about what I'm gonna say. Cool. Okay, so we're not dealing with email right now. That's fine. Let's do some searches. For example, let's look up the Grail. Because that seems to be tying in. Uh, Holy Grail, the original most famous story of the Grail, is Wolfenbach's classic Parsifal. In the story, the knight Parsifal of King Arthur's court rides out in search of legendary Holy Grail. Comes to a mysterious castle and is invited inside. There he meets the Fisher King. The Fisher King suffers from a terrible wound in his thigh. Because of this infirmary, both the castle and the kingdom have fallen into disrepair and sorrow. Parsifal is invited to stay for a banquet. He witnesses a procession. First a squire with a bleeding lance enters. Next comes two squires carrying ten branch candlesticks. Then comes a damsel with the grail. Unfortunately, Parsifal fails to ask the critical questions. What is the grail and whom does it serve? Because he does not ask, he loses his chance to access the grail and to heal the Fisher King and his land. Later in the story, Parsifal rectifies his error and wins the grail by virtue of his pure heart. Now see, what this means is that you always ask every question you've got, because otherwise, you're going to miss out on points. Many other authors have written of the Grail. It is said in various accounts to be a chalice, a stone, and a platter. Some authors claim it is guarded by knights in an underground cavern. Others claim it was a cup, purchased by Joseph of Arimathea for the Last Supper, and later used by him at the crucifixion to capture the blood of Jesus. Some believe those who drink from the cup achieve immortality. A uh, source. The Schottenjäger Archives. Cool. Alright, let's look for uh, vampires. Uh, excerpt from Dracula by Bram Stoker. I don't believe this is going to help. That is a significant excerpt. I don't think this is going to help. If you haven't read Dracula, by the way, it's good. Uh, they're doing a th they've been doing a thing called Dracula Daily where they email you what happened on that day of Dracula like every day and it's good. Uh, 18th century vampires. Vampirism is the act of stealing and drinking another's blood. Cool. There are creatures which drain psychic energy instead of blood. They're called gamers. One might argue these creatures are vampires, but in occult circles such beings are referred to as succubi. For the purpose of this treaty, blood must be involved. And we could, I guess, read about succubi. Right. Uh, types of vampires. Vampires that require blood for sustenance. Demons. Monsters. Vampires that consume blood in order to steal attributes. See blood cults. Elizabeth of Bathory and immortality. Yep. Okay. I don't think we need to know anything in here. Uh, anything on werewolves? Lycanthropy, Lore and Law, Werewolves and Inquisitor Guide, Letter from Christian Von Ritter. I'm glad... This would not be in, like, every game's archive, you know? Like, this is the stuff we dealt with last time. 
And it, the implication is that Grace went ahead and scanned these books in. And I think that's cool. And of course, uh, the most famous Easter egg of this game. If we search for GK4. Ghosts are the disembodied spirits of the dead. The spirits of the dead. Like, uh... This series. Alright, what else can we... Let's just try the Templars. Uh, the Knight Templar, Chivalrous Order of the Middle Ages. Began in 1818, began in 2018 during the Crusades. A number of modern esoteric groups, including the Freemasons, claim descent from the Knights Templar. Uh, Freemasons are one of the largest esoteric societies, rivaled only by the Rosicrucians. What's a Rosicrucian? What's a Rosicrucian? Subject not found. Cool, okay. Well, it can't have everything. Uh, its development as a men's club, a pace of privilege and fellowship, but the rights of the history of the Freemasonry remain enshrouded in the esoteric. However modern, even naive, its adherents. Uh, from the Architect of Solomon. Freemason claims spiritual descent from Hiram Abbas, the architect of the Temple of Solomon. The legend goes that Hiram, an Egyptian, was a master mason. He and King Solomon himself were the only master masons on the project. Master masons supposedly knew secret mysteries involving numbers, measures, geometry, and the magic formula hidden within these sciences. Four lower masons working on the temple began to envy and covet this knowledge. Instead of working to become master masons, they decided to steal the knowledge. Late one night, each of the four hid outside a deep, distant, different temple exit, north, south, east, and west. When Hiram emerged at the first exit, the lower mason demanded his secrets. Hiram refused and was dealt a death blow, but he survived and stumbled back into the temple. He tried to escape by another entrance and was once more stopped. When he refused a second mason, another lethal blow was struck and once more he retreated. That's not what lethal means. This happens two more times at the other two exits from the temple. Finally, Hiram succumbed and died. Vignettes from this story are still played out in Masonic lodges throughout the world. The death and resurrection of the candidate signifies their death to their old life and the start of their new life in the secret knowledge of the Masons. The theme of architectural Masonry continues through the Freemason rites and symbols. Some scholars believe the Freemasons are descended from stone Mason guilds of the Middle Ages, but the Freemasons themselves claim an older and more noble heritage, descendancy from the Knights Templar. This may have some legitimacy since Freemasonry was born in Scotland. The oldest group is Scottish Rite, and some Templars did flee to Scotland during the persecution. Scotland, like uh, Stuart's family, and potentially they're th the thugs that he hired. Your father was head of his local Masonic Lodge. Well, that's interesting. Uh, do you know any Masonic secrets you might want to share with us? Not a one? Well, it was worth trying. Alright, um... If anyone thinks of anything to Google on Sydney, or, you know, type into the search bar, let me know and I'll come back here and uh, give it a try. It can be related to the case or not. For now, though, let's, let's head out. What's that? Secrets of the Holy Grail. I'll be damned. Someone bought a book for Gabriel. There's a poem in here. The arms of Jesus are the cross of Lorraine, both the blood in the arteries and the blood in the vein, both the source of grace and the clear fountain. The arms of Satan are the cross of Lorraine and the same artery and the same vein and the same blood and the troubled fountain. 
I think I'll leave the poem for Gabriel. The Masonic secret of how to kill a man four times before he dies. I'm not sure we know that one, but it's possible that, like, the, the, the old monk dude does. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We just got a thing. We just got a thing. Can we use the fingerprint kit on it? I can't scan that into Sydney. Uh, fingerprint kit. There it is. Alright, how does this work? Uh, we pick up the brush. We use it in the powder. And I guess we... Oh, why didn't I pay more attention to Emma? Do I just wave this around, or what? Um... I can't tell if we're powdering this or not. No prints? Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. Grace knows what she's doing, even if we don't. I'm... Look, uh... I have very fond memories of that particular case from Phoenix Wright. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's uh, head downstairs. Can we take some candy? Oh, that stuff rots your teeth. Bad free, though. Thanks, Grace. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Welcome to Rennes le Chateau. I am afraid we do not have the free room at the moment. Yeah, I, I know. I heard you were booked. It's all right. I'm staying in Mr. Knight's room. Ah! I feel so silly, mademoiselle. I did not know. No, 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 no. See, we, we work together, and the couch in the room is really large enough, and... Well, yeah, I prefer my own room, naturally, but there isn't one, so I... Say no more, mademoiselle. Jean is the picture of discretion. <sighs> fine. Welling piano refrain and graces and reminds you of eyes on me. And did you ever know that I had mine on you? Darling, so there you are. Whoops, no, nope, not him. Darling, so there you are. With that look on your face. Yeah, nope. Never mind. Okay. Food. There's syrup packages. A little packet of maple syrup? Mm, no. Okay. No, I don't think I'll be needing that. No silverware. You're gonna, you're gonna eat with your bare hands, okay? It's in here. Well, it's not exactly full service, but the food smells good. Eat it. Uh, maybe later. It's your funeral. You want some coffee? If I wanted something that bitter and unpleasant, I'd go talk to Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> that little laugh afterward makes it. Uh, um, Somebody really likes Impressionist art. Yeah, I was thinking that. It looks impressionisty. It looks um Van Goghish. All right, what do we got here? Funny. I never looked like that when I took dance classes. Oh. What about this one? Am I nuts, or does that look like a man in drag? All right, so I've seen La Cage au Fall way too many times. Which version, though? Did, did you see the Robin Williams one? Harvey... Uh, no, it's not Harvey Keitel. What's his fucking name? Male bonding. Alright. Hmm. That must be local stoneware. Probably antique. No, Gabe, that's a photo... Uh, Grace, that's a photograph. 
game. Blah. All right, let's start talking to people. Uh, how about the ladies? I can talk to them later on the tour. They're eating right now. All right, we're not going to be rude. It looks like they're trying to get breakfast in before the tour. Who's going to say it? I don't know who is going to say it. I'll bet that's Madeline Boussain, the tour group leader. And this is... It looks like they're trying to get breakfast in before yeah, the tour. Yeah, it's jelly, I think. All right, uh, Boussain. Hi, are you Madeline Boussain? I am. I'm Grace Nakamura, a friend of Mosley's. I'd like to join your tour. Haven't I already had this conversation? It was more interesting the first time. You must be talking about Gabriel. Yes, much more interesting. <laughs> you told him it would be 2,000 francs. For him? For you? It is 3,000. What? The tour leaves at 9. If you decide to come along, bring a check. Sure. Fine. Thank you so much. You know, I thought we were gonna have a game where Grace didn't have to be catty at somebody. And then... this situation presents itself. Apparently we are gonna be extraordinarily catty. Is it just me, or is she seriously irritating? Oh, yeah. GK2 Grace would have decked her. Uh, GK2 Grace was having a time. Anyway, um, GK2 Grace would have... Maybe throttled her with the, uh, the belt of her trench coat. I think GK3 Grace would probably do, like, a roundhouse kick. She's got the pants for it. Um, all right, let's... Maybe we should go see Mosley? Grace? <laughs> First time I've seen character get visibly confused about where we were going. He's probably asleep. We've got some time yet. Okay, cool. Um... Maybe we can get Grace out to see some of the attractions? Attraction. Local... Local places. Oh, hey. Hi, Emilio. Gabriel thinks Emilio's a suspect, but eh, he looks harmless to me. Looks like he's enjoying the sun. I'll wait and talk to him on the tour this morning. Grace, you're so polite. Stop it. All right, maybe she wants to see the museum. Maybe she'll want to see the museum. Maybe she can read French. Extreme from the cyclotronic murder circle. Ah, yes, the beautiful, um, roller coaster. The museum is closed. The museum is closed, okay. Uh, what about the place, the church? We gonna church this up a little bit? Ooh. Do you have any thoughts about any of this? That's a bit strange looking, isn't it? Like everyone's about to fall off that hill. Saint Roche. Never heard of him. It's Mary Magdalene, patron saint of the church. Wow. Aren't those beautiful? Oddly enough, we got more out of Gabriel than we are out of Grace's looking at the church.
All right, what's this? It's a pamphlet from St. Mary Magdalene's. I can't scan that into Sydney. It's worth a try. That bit about the sunrise line is interesting. Bit about the sunrise line. It's a pamphlet from St. Mary Magdalene's. Uh, I am trying to see what she means by sunrise line, and I'm having a hard time with it. All this stuff is interesting, but I'm not sure how to use it. Hmm. All right, well, we'll revisit that. I'm a little uncertain there, but, and I don't know if we're supposed to be doing anything in here. Grace doesn't really seem uh, familiar with Catholicism, particularly. Here's a modern gravestone. A modern gravestone, okay. Um, anything going on in here? It's a window into the church. Let's open Maybe it. I should try walking in the door first. Okay. What about over here? I don't think anyone's home. Okay. Let's see, is there anything else going on around here that might be of of interest? Since it doesn't seem like the tour group is quite ready to leave. Uh, what about over here? The Villa Bethina. I don't think I can go in there. Eh, private property. Y'all are way too respecting of private property signs. Hey, come on, you're adventure game protagonists. Get in there. Alright, what about uh, up here? This must have been Sonier's library. You can't see too much from the first floor. There. Oh, does, does Grace need to rent a moped? Oh, hello. I wonder who that is. Yeah. And what is he looking for? Hold on, I want to see if I can get the, uh... I'm not sure what would be over there. I'm not sure about his sight line here. Alright, let's say hi. Uh, excuse me. Oh, bonjour. This place is open to the public, isn't it? Of course. I was just, uh, taking my morning walk. The bird watching in this area is superb. Oh? Yeah, the scenery's not bad either. Are you with the tour group? No. I'm Abbe Orno, curator of the church. And yourself, mademoiselle? Oh, I'm with the tour. That is, I will be after this morning. We're taking a tour of the valley. Ah, huh? 
Quelle chance! I was just thinking that I would like to take a drive, but my car is a miserable beast. Well, you'll have to ask Madeleine Boussain if you want to go with us. She's the tour group leader. Ah, Miss Boussain, of course. Yes, I believe she would make room for me. Thank you for the suggestion, Miss... Nakamura. Yes, thank you, Miss Nakamura. I hope to see you later. Can he see where I watched him from before? Probably? I mean, this tower has got kind of an uninterrupted sight line to an awful lot of places. Hmm. That's an interesting structure. It almost looks like a, um... I don't know what the heck it looks like. Honest. Anyway, it seems like he's just walking around looking at stuff. So, I'm not sure there. What he might be looking at could be literally anything within a gigantic 360 degree uh, area. Okay, well, let's head back to the, uh, hotel room, maybe. Or... How's Madeline doing? Oh, it looks like we're all getting ready to go. It is time to start. Follow me, s'il vous plaît. Uh, Grace, do you have a check? Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, excuse... Sorry. Alright, well... Can everyone see? Oui? Good. The tomb and the hill across the road are believed to be the models for the tomb in a painting by Nicolas Poussin. Nick Fish? This painting, Les Bergères d'Arcadie, is a key element in the mystery of Rennes le Chateau. It is said to be one of three paintings that Saunière had copied from the Louvre after his discovery of the parchments. The other two paintings were a painting of a pop, which has since been lost, and a David Teniel painting of Saint Anthony. Unfortunately, Teniel did several St. Anthony paintings, and it is unclear which one drew Saunière's eye. Poussin painted Les Bergères in 1640. He may well have known about the local mystery, for he was born in nearby Gisors and was involved with occult and anti-monarchy elements. Several authors have theorized that there are hidden messages in these three paintings, if Poussin's painting has a hidden message, could its resemblance to this exact location be part of that message? And finally, how does the phrase A in Arcadia, a go tie into the mystery? These words are written on the tomb in Poussin's painting. They translate roughly as And in Arcadia, I... Arcadia was a pastoral paradise represented in art and music of the 17th century. Because the words are written on a tomb, the phrase is commonly thought to mean that death exists even in paradise, and yet... Yes? The way it is worded is not the complete thought, or even proper Latin. So what does the phrase mean? Perhaps only Poussin himself. And Sonier knew the answer. Look around and take some pictures if you like. We we'll leave in a few minutes. Um, that's interesting. I don't know if it'll have any relevance. Um, what you doing? Abbe Arnaud is more interested in the valley than the tomb. Well, I suppose he's seen it before. Yeah, Abbe Arnaud is not here for the tour. Abbe Arnaud is here to triangulate something. Somehow, I don't think he's looking for birds. Yeah, me either. I'm not sure what I'd say to him at the moment. 
He is egregiously suspicious. What are you up to? I met him last night. His name's Emilio Baza. He's, uh, doodling or something. Thumb. Emilio wrote some. Huh. Well, can I, um, note that down? Some, some. So. Some is Latin for to be, I think. So how does that fit in with the rest? Thus, in Arcadia, I w will be? I am? He looks preoccupied. Alright. Ah, I'm Oathly. Jesus Christ, that shirt. I love it. That shirt looks like one of my fucking, uh, backgrounds from Infinite Fish. How you doing, Mosley? Hey, Mos. Hey, Grace. Fun times, huh? Sure. Great. Lady Howard and Estelle are certainly enthusiastic. Can I... Like, stroll up behind them and have a listen. Well, speaking of this, looks like one of my infinite fish backgrounds. They're busy. Yeah, they're definitely busy with each other. No thanks. I'll wait until his tongue is inside his mouth. Whatever that means. And... Bukele? How are you, Signore Bukeli? <sighs> Fine, Miss Nakimura. Enjoying yourself? Oh, absolutely. I find this whole treasure enigma really fascinating. Mm. Mm. Attention! Let us continue. Oh, well, shit. I hope I got everything. This hill is known as Rock Blanc, or White Rock. Here at the top are the ruins of Chateau de Blanchefort. The Blanche Pearls were an important family of local nobles. Their name fort, ties into Fortnite. the history of the Templars and the Cathars and into the mystery of Rhin le Chateau itself. The chateau that stood here was in Templar hands from 1132 to 1180. The ruins provide a wonderful view of the valley and have figured into several of the geometry related theories about the Rhin treasure. Indeed. We will stop here for a few moments. Please take advantage of the view. From here, one can see Mont Cardu, run in the distance, and the whole valley. All right. Um... There he goes with those binocs again. He's bird watching. Yeah, like hell he is. You've been avoiding me, dollface. I think you got the wrong idea the other day at lunch. Hmm. I doubt it. I'm telling you, you're gonna be impressed, see? I got this really big dumper. Monsieur Wilkes, I realize you are on vacation, but I am not part of the package, n'est-ce pas? But. Ah. Uh... He's smoking a tree. Like an actual tree. Estelle, feet in the water. Do you see? Yes, I do see. Oh, it's so imposing. It must be the presence. And Blanchefort must be what is meant by the windows of the ruined house. Of course. How marvelous! And what about the Red Serpent? 
Lead Selpent? Did you say, uh, Lead Selpent? No. Uh, no, we weren't talking about a Red Serpent. Not at all. I said, uh, Sir Plant. I was talking about, uh, uh, yes, Sir Ed Plant. He's a friend of ours. Don't be ridiculous. You were talking about Le Serpent Rouge. Is that a copy? Right. Who's got a copy of Le Serpent Rouge? There is no such document. How would you know, Vittorio? Really? Estelle has no such thing. Where did you get it? I heard there was only a couple of copies. No, I, uh, um... Look, perhaps I did say Red Serpent, but we were merely discussing the document. We don't have it. Hmm. Well, for heaven's sake, are you going to search the poor woman? Maybe we should. Right, Madeline? Back off, Wilkes. I was only curious. Interesting. What's the Serpent Rouge? The Red Serpent? Okay. Well, yes. I don't know any Red Snakes. I know- I've- I've listened to White Snake. They're good. Um... Hello, Madeline. Hello, Miss Nakamura. You can call me Grace. No. Mm. Interesting lecture. Thank you. So, you are the tour guide, right? Tell me, what is Le Serpent Rouge? It's a pamphlet containing a riddle. And it's hard to find a copy, I take it. That is right. It was deposited into the Bibliothèque Nationale in Paris. According to French law, every written document must be deposited. But then it disappeared. The rumor is that the authors who wrote the riddle died mysteriously. Okay, so it's a riddle. It's in the French National Library. And whoever wrote it died mysteriously. Oh, white and purple one with a pink under... I don't think that's, like, rouge. Wait. White and purple and pink. That is rouge. The mystery comes together. Now we need to find Snake the Bat. Good morning, ladies. Grace, isn't it? Look, Estelle, isn't she just as cute as a button? She is. Yes. Of course, she's with that knight fellow. He's obviously the worst sort of man. Lily, don't upset the poor girl. Oh, don't worry about me. Ugh, worst sort. I could not agree with you more. So, are you enjoying the tour? Oh, uh, yes. Ma'am, your hat is a texture black hole. He is the worst sort of man. Gabriel is... He... Gabriel is the sort of man that defines unto himself. A new worst sort. There is now, like, the Gabriel Tear Man. Um, I overheard you with Madeline. What is the Le Serpent Rouge? No offense, dear. But I couldn't bear to speak on the subject another moment. Such brass that French has he has. <laughs> I knew she'd upset you. People are just out to rob you. Steal you blind. It's a brutal business. You're not trying to have your way with this. Are you, dear? Me? Oh, no, of course not. Estelle pulled a 180 quick turn. Fucking Resident Evil 3 quick turn button. Okay, what is Emilio up to anything? It's a nice view, isn't it, Mr. Baza? Mm, lovely, yes. Have you been in this area before? No, I haven't dared uh, make such a long trip. Uh, what about yourself? No, it's my first time in France. Ah. I haven't dared make such a long trip. Could be perfectly mundane. It's the late 90s and... You know, they're stopping anybody with even the slightest trace of brown skin at the airport. 
But I have the feeling that's not what he's talking about. Say, uh, do you know anything about Le Serpent Rouge? Yes, I have seen this document. Really? Do you have a copy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you. Uh. Okay. Oh yeah, he's really got that beefcake thing down, doesn't he? Fortunately, I'm a vegetarian. You know, if you were gonna write, uh, like, Grace fanfiction, that is a hell of a jumping off point, line-wise. You think that, yeah, I, uh... It was just particularly bad in the late 90s. Early 2000s. Ah, Senora Bukele, hello. Great view, huh? Yes, my child. Very pretty. My child? What are you, a priest? Have you heard of Le Serpent Rouge before, Senora Bukele? Oh, Miss Nakimura. <laughs> Le Serpent Rouge is a fiction, like most of the riddles and so-called parchments surrounding Rennes Le Chateau. You know, I wouldn't pollute my head with it. Okay. You got anything to say? Mr. Lucas? Say, uh, do you know anything about Le Serpent Rouge? Hmm. Yes, it is an interesting piece. Or so I've heard. Lovely day, isn't it? Okay. We're not fucking getting anywhere with anybody on this. Good morning, Mr. Wilkes. Call me John, love. You're here with that American, eh? Yeah. It's Nakamura, by the way. Ms. Right, Missy. I gotcha. Speaking of uh, candidates for roundhouse kicking... Mr. Wilkes, you seem to know something about this uh, Les Serpents Rouge thing. They had income, love. It's some pamphlet. Supposed to have clues about the treasure in it. You don't seem to be too interested in it. Ah, and all kind of red herrings in this thing. Lots of bullshit. Pardon my French. Me, I already got it all figured. So I don't give a toss. Ah, so it's not Le Serpent Herring. You have it all figured out. Uh huh. You know where the treasure is then. Just watch and learn, girlie. Watch and learn. I am not going to flirt with him. Do I have to romance? I uh, no, I am not going to flirt with him. Mosley, please be a beacon of sanity in these dark times. Hey, Mose, do you know anything about that document they were arguing about? Le Serpent Rouge? Le Serpent Rouge? Hmm, never heard of it. But wasn't there something about Moulin Rouge? Uh, you mean Moulin Rouge? No, that was a cabaret, Mose. And a painting by Toulouse-Lautrec. Oh. Probably not related then. No, the French cabaret is probably not related to this case. But I think we should send Gabriel there anyway. He would have a good time. How did you get into the rennes -le chateau mystery anyway? I never heard of it. I saw the ad for the tour. It just kind of jumped up and bit me. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, you spent some time with your old pal yesterday, huh? We talked. I figured. You know, Gabriel and I, we've been pretty close. I mean, you know, working together and everything. I know you have, but if I were you, I, I wouldn't, uh... What? You know, Gabe, he's, he's such a... He's, he's kind of a... Did he say something about me? No, no, no. I just know Gabe, that's all. You know, there's lots of really great guys out there. Nice guys. Gabriel's changed a lot, Mose. Really? Uh, really? Yeah, it's great then. You know, that's, that's, uh, that's good. I don't know what to say to that exchange. I don't know what to say to that exchange at all. So, you never told me what you thought about the treasure. As a matter of fact, I do have a few ideas, you know. Oh yeah? Like what? 
Well, I, I have some really insightful, uh, but maybe I shouldn't. Uh, what? What? Nothing final, that is. Uh, say, why don't we have dinner tonight? Just, you know, you and me. We could, uh, you know, talk about it. What about Gabriel? Gabe? Gabe's not into the treasure thing. Oh, okay. It's probably best not to talk around the others anyway. Right. What are you right. thinking about? Oh, just wondering what Gabriel's up to. Oh. I'm just wondering what Gannon is up to. Uh, I don't think I left that window open. Oh, good, he's got his shirt back on. Okay. Now the window's closed. Now I got some fucking suspicions here. What? That's Emilio's room. Okay, but Emilio's out on the tour. Alright. It's a dumb waiter. Yes, it is. Uh, can I get in this yet? That wouldn't do much good. The door's locked. Uh, hold on. I gotta unlock this, I think. Um, it bugs me that it's that particular. That platform looks sturdy. I can't reach it too well from here. Hmm. Can I climb in and, uh... Yeah, that sounds like fun. It's a dumb waiter. Alright. It's a dumb waiter. It's a dumb wa it's a dumb wait it's a dumb waiter. Alright, grab the fingerprint kit. Um let's... There's a note on the table. Grab this. Way to read, Gabriel. You do have illiteracy, don't you? Sheesh. The woman's already in hyperdrive and we just started this thing. Weird poem, too. There's an awful lot of blood imagery in this thing. Arteries, veins. It ought to be relevant, but I'm not sure how. Yeah, you're having dreams about blood, my dude. I don't think I need to scan that into Sydney. All right, can I scan all these license plates? I have to go into Sydney and do an ad data if I want to scan this. All right. Are you willing to use the PC, you dingus? Yeah, all right, he's willing to use it. Uh, ad data. Awaiting input. File name... Boochlice. Oh good, Gabriel is gonna name all of these for me. Uh, 
All right, so I'm putting all of the license plates that I have into Sydney on the off chance that it becomes helpful to have that in there. One more, yeah. Okay. Uh, does that go into my suspect? Gracie entered these last night. Yeah, um... Can I combine the vehicle IDs? No, I can't. All right, that's fine. That's fair. Uh, link to suspect. Okay, there we go. So I just mad up. I just manually link these um, license plates to the suspects. Why am I doing this? I don't know, but it, it, it could help. And like, I have a high-tech crime computer. Why would I not use it? For things. And it's giving me points. Which means that it's correct. Abbe no Lady Howard... Uh, Lady Howard gets the lady license plate. Wilkes gets the Wilkes plate. And Larry Chester does not get anything. Blue sedan. Okay, that's cool. Uh, main menu. Translate. Okay, hold on. Um, add data. Can I add this cassette tape? Yes, I can. Okay, can I translate the cassette tape? Uh, from English to French. No, from French to English. Uh, Very cool. I'm starting to like this computer. Hello, Arnaud here. I must speak with the Grand Master. Of course it's important. Hello, I'm sorry to disturb you, sir. But I just had a distressing visit from two of Prince James' men. They claim Prince James' son was kidnapped. They say they tracked the kidnapper to the Coiza station. They seem convinced we're involved. That's what I told them. I wanted to hear it from you. Then who? But they're blaming us. They threatened to pull out of all negotiations until the infant is returned safe. I have no idea, I swear. It must be some personal enemy of the prince. Perhaps the English. Yes, thank you. Of course I'll look into it. Goodbye. All right. That's worth making a, uh, a link to. Um, where is, oh, suspects is over here, okay. Uh, suspect list, and they are not. Open a file. Link the tape to him. Yeah, a personal enemy of the Prince of Scotland, like all of England, pretty much, yeah. Uh, what else can I add into this computer? Um, binoculars. Can I add this poem? I don't think I need to scan that into Sydney. No. Then I don't see any other kind of evidence I could add in, although... I can think of one other thing I want to do. 
Now that I've got a fingerprint kit, we know for a fact that Emilio was the one who had this drinking glass before us. No prints. But there's no prints on it. All right. Okay. Okay. I can't think of anything else that we... That's significant that Emilio has no fingerprints? I don't know. Um... Nothing. Uh-uh. I don't think I need to scan that into Sydney. No, I think, um... I don't see any prints. Now, the, the Abbe had this, and there's no prints of his on there either. I think it must just be a... What about this piece of paper? I don't see any prints. No. There's an awful lot of blood imagery in this thing. Arteries, veins. It ought to be relevant, but I'm not sure how. Yeah, speaking of it ought to be relevant, but I'm not sure how. Uh, I really thought maybe we could pull one of Emilio's prints off the uh, glass, but I guess that's not really a valid option. Maybe we can get, like, the inside of this doorknob or something later. Monsieur, I thought all the guests were out this morning. Oh, hey there, um, Roxanne. <laughs> I decided not to go, but don't mind me. Carry on. Yes, monsieur. Roxanne? Is that what's on her shirt? Okay, she's headed on into our room, it looks like. Is there anything on the cart that we need? Anything in the cart or on it? Um... It's the maid's cart. Oh, uh, where are you going, Gabe? Oh, okay. He's throwing out the bedding. I don't blame her. Gabriel slept in that. Uh, is there anything on the cart? I don't... I can push it. If I move it, she'll hear me. I won't do that. Hmm, I'd love to get into these other rooms today. Maybe Roxanne can help me out. Doesn't look like there's anything I need in there. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we actually need to pick up here. But I do feel like... Gabriel has a point. Uh, let me just move out of the way. Not that far out of the way, okay. She has a skeleton key. That might be helpful. I can't. The cart's blocking the door. Alright, let's just... Oop, no, wait. Wait for it. Can I spy now? You're gonna go get set up? Okay. Emilio's got a dumb waiter on his side, too. Okay, she's in the bathroom, so I will just go unlock this, and now I can duck back out. Alright.
So I guess what I'm doing here is I'm going to follow the maid around and unlock some, some bonus routes to other people's rooms. Oh, is any of this useful? No, I already have a spray bottle. Alright. Key. Lock the door. I wait for her to go in and come back out. I can't. The cart's blocking the door. Yeah, I wait for her to go back in and come out. Okay. And she moves it. I hit spy. Can I hide in the cart? No, that's not an option. Alright, she doesn't have a, uh... She doesn't have a dumb waiter. She does have a balcony. around in here, but I think I'm following the oh, uh, unlock. Alright, uh, she's over there. Wait for it. Looking to try to take advantage of this power dynamic. Um, in my case, I am taking advantage of this power dynamic. I am doing my very best to abuse this, to get access to everybody's bedroom. And I'm just waiting to be caught at it, honestly. Oh, he's going all the way around. Okay. I don't think I'm going to make this one. It doesn't feel like I am. Sounds like she's in the bathroom. Okay, cool. Um, Dumbwaiter. Unlock it. Get out. Alright, how the heck do I get into that room then?
Does she relock it after she closes this door? Yeah, she does. Well, maybe it's okay. Maybe I can get in from the other dumb... They don't go sideways. And that room... Okay. Wait for it. She relocks that. Of stuff. I probably shouldn't fuck with anything right now. Hide in the closet. Um. The maid's not gonna be in there long. I don't have time to search the room. Not enough time. Alright, I think we have a clear path to... We can go through Gabriel's room to room 27. Rooms 29 and 31 are now unlocked. I don't know how we get access back in here, though. It's Wilkes's room. I don't know how we get access to Wilkes' room and, uh... It's locked. It's locked, he whines. Yeah, I don't know how we get into these two. It's locked. Maybe we can do something from the balcony. Or maybe... No, there's only one dumb waiter. Alright, but we have two unlocked rooms. So let's try in here first. What do we got? Um, first off, can I go out on the balcony? I can. Could I jump across? That's Madeline's room in there. Uh, climb. Can I? Oh, geez, this is stupid. Oh, this is fucking stupid. I didn't even have to do that. I got both of those doors unlocked. What? He jumped up and climbed on the, uh, the grating. No, not the grating. The... The gutter. That was... Fucking stupid. Okay. What's this? Hotel stationery. Everyone's got it. Uh, can I, like, do the pencil shading thing? Uh-uh. No fingerprints. All right. Here, you've got your standard hotel room desk. Cool. Well, fine. Um... Let's go through some of these drawers. Hello. I'm not sure what that is exactly, but I think it has something to do with tracking your position. Interesting. No prints. No fingerprints. It reminds me of a tracker, but I don't think that's what it is. Can I take I'm it? I'm not even sure what it does. 
Besides, she'd notice it was missing. All right, that's no good. That's no good for me. I need some stuff. I need evidence. I need DNA evidence. Uh, there are some dresses in there. That's great. Anything under the bed? Yeah, I see some stuff under the bed. Suitcase. Big steel suitcase, too. <laughs> oh. I knew she was packing, but this is ridiculous. Oh. Either France is a lot more dangerous than I thought, or Madeline is over-equipped. I get prints off this? I can. I don't know how to use the uh, fingerprint thing, though. At least not very well. I think I just click it all over the place. I think I got a print. Uh, tape? No? Alright. Ah, uh, how do I use this? I am gonna refer to the manual. Before next time we play. There's something on the barrel. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's a Got fingerprint. It. Cool, let's put this away. Don't ask Gabe to get DNA. <laughs> I was thinking of that Homestar Runner. Honestly. Yeah, it probably would be a wise move to consult the manual. What is this unpaneled piece of wood here? Why is that there? I know, I know, it's a city. Still makes me thirsty. All right, let's try the bathroom. I'm not even going to try to, like, steal her underwear. What's this? She washes her hair, too. That's a plus. I think it's called gilding the lily. I don't even want to know what you think that means. I look great without it. Thanks. No, there's nothing in here I need to take with me. I'm not even going to try on that. Alright, I think we got the pertinent point from here, which is the, uh... A fingerprint. Did I miss anything at all? Like, I know I checked in here. But I didn't really... All I saw was the, uh... Yeah, there's it's a... It's a map. The a one map. I saw her using yesterday. That's not a dress, that's a map. I bet you Gracie would love to have a copy of this. I'll have to bring it back, though. Yeah, a copy of the tour map. Okay. Bring it back, though. That's, that's a good point. Let's go get that done. And after this, uh, I will probably release you all. We will check out the other bedroom next time. The other bedrooms. But let me see if I can scan this into Sydney or something. I have to go into Sydney and do an ad there yep. if I want to scan this. I thought as much. All right, add data. Add the map. File name, map. Cool, thanks. Thanks, Gabriel. Can I look at the map from here? I can't think of anything to do with that file. I'll let Gracie deal with it. 
Great. Thanks, Gabe. Thanks. You're so useful. You're so helpful. Yeah, I am so glad to be back, honestly. I am absolutely delighted to finally be playing again. Um, being without the ability to comfortably sit for a while is something you do not realize that you will miss until you have lost it. Let's get this back where it belongs. There we go. Okay. Going out to the hall, but when we return, either, uh, what day is it? Tomorrow or Friday, we will continue, uh, egregiously violating the privacy of our fellow hotel guests. Alright, we've, we've saved... What I'm going to do is I'm going to quit and restart to make sure that it actually did save. You catch me with that once, and I'm going to be on guard for the rest of the game. Uh-huh. Exploring bedrooms. There we go. All right. And, uh, that's it for the night. I am going to throw you all off to the Celine stream, where she will be playing Corn Kids. The Warm Fuzzy Game Room is a place where video games are played. And uh, I think that's great. And I had coherent things to say about words, but I have forgotten them. So I'm just going to pawn you guys off over there. I want you all to have a good night. I want you all to enjoy your night. And um, that's it. Bye for now.